that was the most unique way that's ever done that and in a good way and we're back everyone this is going to be the third part of today my third video for today and we're going to edit a whole bunch tonight but um one thing i noticed and i i'm hoping i don't jinx this i just tweeted it <laughs> or posted it we need something better than post uh, but man navigation speed to mark points on the map is substantially fast. It's like how it should be. It's like actually resp responsive. Like I made, okay, now we get the Ollie and then it made two points like right away. And then I added this point here and it's like right away. And it's just like, it's so fast now. Like it's freaking awesome. And so I'm, I'm gonna see what it does when we get to this point to see if it just stops or if it continues automatically. The only reason we're doing this, if you're new to the channel, um, it's just they. Uh, this route going this way would be boring, so I go this way. They give it a few turns on protected lifts and all that type of jazz. They give it some obstacles to make it more entertaining. There actually is a bunch of construction right uh, here, in this spot. So we'll see how, how it handles that construction on this version. It actually handled it just fine on the previous version. Interesting how it was hesitant right there. Interesting on new payment. You can hear the tread noise more on the snow tires. That's interesting. Oh, you can see it almost thought it needed to take a left turn right there for some reason. They're still playing around with the neural net I'm planning, that's for sure. Now, this looks improved. Oh yeah, I'm glad I got in the middle lane. So a lot of times I would get in the far right lane right here. So, what's improved about this is that it's not trying to cross. It can see the, it can see the divider lane right here. It's not trying to cross over. So we're going to see. Once, once the light turns green, that will be the ultimate test. But um, we'll see what, see what it does. Okay. Though they probably just repainted these lines because they paved it right here. That's probably why why it can see it now. So it does need to get over. I'm gonna up the speed just because no one goes 20 in this area. I'm really glad they finally repaved this. This road, this whole road right in here, was really atrocious. It's just potholes everywhere. It's just rough and lumpy. And really badly needed to be repaved. So I'm glad they finally did that. I guess apparently they're adding sewer or something on the ground here. I'm not exactly sure what's going in here. Going in right here. Oh, did they pave it? Uh, no, they didn't. I just can't see. <laughs> Alright, that was a... Oh, barely missed that pothole. Oh, okay. I didn't want to go in the pothole. It's... It's going to be some time before they have pothole avoidance. You can count that if you I'm going to count that as a disengagement to avoid the pothole. Disengage to avoid pothole and road. I let it go for the first one and I got lucky and the second one I wasn't going to do that. I'm not I'm not purposely going to go into a pothole that big. So can't can't avoid those yet. So that's the advantage of Cybertruck is that it really won't most likely won't care about that stuff it'll just go right over over the pothole and not care squirrel get out of the road get out of the road it made it anyway so if it wasn't for the construction there still would be zero disengage this this route i think now gets zero disengagements normally but no for what it's worth it wouldn't have done that if the construction wasn't there if it was a smooth road see how it Seems a little bit earlier, it's speeding up now, which is good. In my opinion, it can, it can speed up to the speed limit as soon as it gets to the sign. It can start accelerating before it gets to the sign and be at the speed limit when it gets to the sign. Okay, I take back what I said. Auto wipers are not improved at all. Like, and now it's because it's, it's going faster now. Either it's, it's fogging up up here, which is possible. 
or it thinks it's raining, which it's not. It's just because it's overcast. It's using AI to determine is it raining or not. And sadly, it's not working well. They, I, I don't know why they would enable such a thing before it actually like was you know 99% accurate because it's just not. It uh, needs a lot. Like look, look at this. It's, got, it's just it's not raining at all. Especially with Cybertruck, man, that giant wiper blade going up and down for no reason. I don't know. Uh, however, they want to fix it. I hope. I hope they just. You know. Hope they fix it. That's frustrating. Let's see, we're gonna take a right turn here. I don't know if that was me or the truck that made that squeak. Okay. So, uh, what I want to be able to do is tap right here and then in. Yeah, the reason I'm not paying attention to the road is because you won't let me cancel a thing. <laughs> like, a perfect example of that crap. You won't let me cancel the waypoint without looking at the screen. I want to be able to, like, tap on it and hit cancel. Okay. I'm... It, it creeped out until it was in the road. And then I, I pressed the accelerator because, if, like, if it didn't go... It was just gonna be in the middle of the road to stop there while this car was coming. So that that's why I had to do that. Definitely an intervention, but not a disengagement. And I think what would have happened is it would have been in the road, it would have decided to just go and just accelerate really hard. And that car would have just been annoyed. So what I'm gonna do is instead of going in the Aldi parking lot, we're gonna end this in the Lowe's parking lot. It's been just across the road, so we're not not changing this at all any but um yeah this is uh well i guess we're not ending it technically i'm gonna start from the Aldi parking lot and we're gonna go home and that would be the end of this drive but so far so good again i look for does it does it behave worse and we're back everyone as you can see on the map it thinks we're on the wrong side of the road so that's probably gonna screw it up see nope did not stop for oncoming car and that Mercedes is going quite fast no, she not a Mercedes anyways I don't know my cars doesn't matter uh, that car is coming quite fast and yeah, that's, I don't know. I, is it a camera limitation or is it an AI limitation? Like if I looked at that in the video, even though the low res video, I could probably tell that I was coming in too fast and we should have waited. But the car just doesn't know that yet. I'm sure there must be many thousands and thousands and thousands of disengagements every single day from oncoming cars that the car just doesn't wait for. And they just, they haven't trained it yet to stop. I mean, either they're, I don't know why they're continuing to proceed with the version 11 updates versus just doing version 12. Uh, I'm not really sure, unless they're just gonna have that, putting all resources into 12, so 12's actually improving, but 11 basically is just very minor tweaks. I don't know, you tell me. Good response time. As soon as that car started moving, my car started moving. See how it makes this turn. I think the last several times I went through here, I just manually drove. Okay, it's braking too much. I'm tap accelerating just a little bit. I'm off of it now. Oh well, pretty good, pretty good. Now we're gonna see, so, I bet you the map changes they've done in this update have fixed this problem. It kept on trying to get in this right lane here and drive me nuts because that goes straight into the mall. And I'm not seeing any sign of that this time. So I think they've... Aww, come on. 
Okay, well, it's slightly improved, but it's still there, obviously. And, well, I'm not gonna bother. I don't see any lights on. So the supercharger is right there. Um, I think, wait. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Right here. This is gonna be the Hendrickville supercharger. Let's go ahead and put the, so you can see satellite view. Gonna be the back side in this parking lot right here. Panera. And I'm looking, the gate's still around it. And there no power. But it's gonna be a, I believe it's a 12 stall. It's gonna be 12 stall Vickery with a single pole install. Uh, and yeah, so I'm just happy we have a local supercharger. Not that I need it. But um, this is a really good location. Well, um, I, I wanted personally uh, Columbus, North Carolina first, which is right here. Right there's Columbus. And, but Hendersonville is really good for those visiting. Yes, yes, I'll look at the road. Those visiting Brevard, which is over here. 64, uh, um, sorry, Brevard over. Do you go any slower into that parking lot? Wow. Okay, I pressed the accelerator to get the speed up. I'll show you this once we're on the highway. But yeah, if you're going to Brevard or going out this way, this is 64 over on, so towards Bat Cave, towards Lake Lure in that area, this charge is gonna be very useful. Previously, you would have to go all the way up to Biltmore Park, which is like another 15, 20 minutes from here, to charge, and you come back this direction. It's just, it just doesn't make sense. I think that's a big reason why a lot of people won't buy a Tesla because they don't want to go out of their way. They already have to spend longer to charge uh, than you would a gas car because you don't have a charger at every location you go to. And then you have to go out of your way to get to the charger. I very much don't like going out of my way. Fortunately, for all the routes I've done, very seldomly have I had to go out of my way to visit someplace. It would drive me insane to have to visit. If I had to visit Hendersonville, did not have this charger here. They have to go up to Asheville to charge and then come back down. If I didn't have a place to charge overnight, it just wouldn't make any sense. But now that this charger's here, it makes makes everything a lot, a lot easier and simpler. And it's kind of funny. There's actually rain on the windshield now. And it's not running the wipers. Like, I don't need the wipers on right now. I'm gonna put one swipe because I want it. You know, I'm gonna get it clean I can. Um, but it, it was actually raining and the wipers weren't going on, but when it's not raining, the wipers go on. Like, whoever is in charge of that neural net, like, stop. Just do something else. Because it was way better before. Water wipers are actually pretty decent for me, but now they're now they're garbage. It sucks. That was pretty pretty impressive, actually. The this BMW behind me wanted to. It started accelerating, and my car accelerated, got in, and got over. So that that actually was pretty impressive. So as long if they keep on refining the highway, I'll be happy with that. I'll be taking. Well, it's not gonna be that much highway. It's got a two lane. But I'll be taking a trip on Monday up to work in Boone. I just did that the other week. Uh, it did pretty well, and I'm hoping it'll do just as well going up this weekend. Or Monday, rather. Go up for the whole week. I'm glad we got a new version, especially the navigation updates. Because I'm gonna be navigating across town several times and to places I haven't been before. And so they haven't actually navigate quickly. Cross my fingers, have, please, <laughs> please don't jinx it. Please stay the same. I'm hoping that stays the same and will let us uh, navigate much quicker and not lose our sanity when it can't reroute quick enough. It appears that as soon as the wipers go on, it immediately goes to poor weather detected, which sucks. Like, it's, it, you can do one swipe and it automatically did that. In this case, two swipes. And that sucks. I'm guessing they're preparing to do 
uh, eyes on or hands off autopilot on highway. That'd be my guess. I'm, I think next year is going to be the year for hands off autopilot. It just seems, or you still have to have eyes on. You still have to be paying attention. So it's still level two, but like level 2.5, or like getting close to where you don't need to pay attention. And next year, I think it's going to be the year we have just be able to look forward. As long as you're looking forward and clearly paying attention, then you, know, you can leave your hands off the wheel, and that's going to be sick. Can't wait for that. I think it's going to be highway only at first, but um, perhaps they'll do two lane roads as well. And also, I love this feature. Though, I personally wouldn't be going 65 now, and I guess just because everyone else is, I will. But I would rather go 60, is my preference here. properly getting off this exit. See, it ups the speed, like it needs to be slowing down, and then it goes full region, once it can see over the crest of the hill. Like, it, it should know there's a stop coming up, like, there's no reason coming off an exit, it should reaccelerate. That just shouldn't happen unless, you know, you're about to get in an accident or something, you need to reaccelerate for some reason. Otherwise, that wasn't terrible, it just, it should start slowing down. Okay, so it actually checked for this car coming. Good. That was the most unique way that's ever done that, and in a good way. It wasn't perfect by any means, but um, the fact that it started going as this car was in front of me was going past was really good. I'm happy to see that. But yeah, everyone, uh, I think that did okay. Um, I can't even remember. I wasn't paying attention to the disengagement, so I don't know what we did or if we did zero or what. But I think it was pretty good overall. If you have questions for me, put them down below, and I will see you whenever the next time, maybe. Thanks, everyone. Bye.